let's get started so this is the fabric i have left over i've already made the shorts um, i'll leave the link below for those ones and the patterns available for that one too so i'm just going to make the matching crop top so step number one is to print out our pattern pieces like so oh, missing one there's a strap here as well and we are going to cut them out of our fabric just a little something to note here is um, these sections here need to be cut on a fold so your pattern will let you know whether you need to do that or not and you just make a fold like this a little bit further and you just cut out your pattern piece like this so I'm gonna go ahead and cut out all my pattern pieces pause here for a second there are actually two notches on this back piece here so when you cut it out it's important that you do mark those notches there because that's how we know where to put the straps on the back we have ended up with two straps two waistband pieces two front pieces and two back pieces as well so I usually like to start with the hardest part which is for me the straps here so all you have to do is fold it in half and sew along here with a one centimeter seam allowance and then just trim the edge. So these are the straps here. I have just done a small zigzag stitch and I have trimmed the edge and now I just need to turn them inside out. So these are the straps once they're done, finish being turned inside out. The next step is just to put the elastic on the inside. So all we need to do is take this elastic and thread it through the inside of this tube here. It can be a little bit fiddly to do this, but just pop it in like that all the way through to the other end. And you do that for both of them. Great, so now that I have popped the elastic through both of these pieces, we are going to put it off to the side just for now. And the next pieces we need are the two back pieces here. We'll just leave this one off to the side for a second. So you're going to take one of your straps, just with the seam, you'll see there's a seam there, facing upwards. We're going to turn it like this, place it on an angle downwards, on top of the notch that you made earlier from the sewing pattern. We're going to do the same with the second strap. So the seam facing upwards, we're going to put it on an angle like so. As you can see the two straps make a cross here and I put that on the second notch that we made. Then we're going to take the other piece, just moved a little bit there. So I'm going to take the other piece, pop it on top, like so, and see how the, the notches line up with where our straps are? That is perfect. So what we're going to do is we're going to pin these in place all the way along the edge here, just to the center piece here. Great. 
So now that we have pinned all the way along here, we're going to sew from the top all the way along on top of the straps here, all the way down to the middle. And we're going to stop here. So that's our next step. So now we have finished this stitch here, just from the top to the middle with our straps in here as well. So the next step can sometimes be a little tricky. So it's important to take this step slowly. So we're gonna start with this strap here. So since it's on the bottom on this side, we know that this end needs to go to the top on this side. So what we're going to do, take this strap, drag it underneath, And we are going to pin it to the notch here. Great. I know it looks a little messy, but it will be all worth it in the end. So this here is the top strap, which means this side needs to come around and connect to the bottom notch on this side. So drag it underneath. I'll just move this top part out of the way and this is the bottom notch here. We're going to pin it to the bottom notch. Great. Now what you can do is sort of stretch out this half so that we're able to pin the rest of it. So what we're going to do Grab the top pieces here. We're gonna pin here. Give it a bit of a shake to move the straps around. There we go. Just put a pin in the next section as well. Now I'm going to include the top layer where the notch is here so that all three pieces are pinned together where the notch is. And I'm just going to continue pinning. Okay, so hopefully this is um, a bit of a better picture of this step now that we have all this pinned. And what we want to do is sew from this top here all the way down, just to the bottom. And one small thing to note here is that this bottom one here, we want to kind of make sure it's facing upwards when we sew it. That way it will make a nice cross here. Perfect, so we've got both straps in here, seams facing upwards, so we can just check that nothing has twisted. Perfect all the way along the side. We're just gonna sew this seam here now. Great. So now that I've sewn that seam there, all the way to the middle, you can turn it inside out and see your work so far. Perfect, so the reason I do it the way I do is because I prefer for these straps, if you can see there, to be inside the seam. Um, I prefer it this way because I think it's much cleaner. So I'm going to go ahead and overlock this seam as well. If you don't have an overlock, I'll just um, trim the edges here and then we'll get on to the next step. Okay, so I have overlocked this edge. Like I said, if you don't have an overlocker, um, just make sure you trim as much as you can. And then the next step is to do the sleeves. So you do one side at a time. So we pin along this side here. And we'll sew along this edge. Once you've done that side, you will then have the space to pin and sew the other side as well. So you do just have to do one side at a time. Okay, so I've gone ahead and sewn both sleeves. 
There we are, both sleeves. So we're going to turn this inside out. Amazing, and now we're going to do the front. So I'll pop this off to the side. You want to grab your two front pieces. Perfect, these ones here. All you need to do, pin the sleeves, the neckline together, and sew along all three of these lines here. Great, so I've done the sleeve seams and the neck seam of the front here. Now I need to connect it to the back on the side seam. So we're going to open this up like so. We're going to take, take the back piece. We're going to open this side up as well so that we have the right sides together. We're going to pin all the way along this edge. So with this middle part here, we just need to make sure we line up these seams when we pin and sew them. Great, that side's done. I'm just gonna do the same for the other side as well. Great, now that I've pinned both sides, I'm just going to sew them together and we will get on to the next part. So I finished these side seams here and now you can turn the top the right way around and have a look. So the next step we will do is the waistband and then followed by that we will just do the sleeves up the top here. So I'll pop this aside for just a second. We will grab our two waistband pieces like so. My cutting was a little bit messy, but we are going to sew on the edges just here. Okay, so I've done the two side seams of this waistband here. Now you're going to fold it in half with the right sides facing outwards and just pin the sides. Now we're going to connect it to the top here. So at this point, we do need to pay attention to the seams on this, on these straps here. We obviously want them facing the inside. So we're going to turn this right way around. And the reason I call it that is because the straps here are nice and clean. So the seam is on the inside here. Now what we're going to do is take the waistband. We're going to pop the top inside the waistband here like this. We're going to pin the sides, all side seams together. Same with the other side. Great, and we're also just going to pin the waistband to the top all the way around. So now that we've done that, we are going to sew all the way around this full waistband seam here, and then we're nearly done. Okay, so I've finished sewing the waistband seam here, all the way around. So I'll fold that out. You can see the top coming together really nicely. Now, we are going to turn this inside out. We're going to pin these shoulder seams here and we're going to sew them. So I recommend you take this part really slowly because we definitely want these two straps to line up accurately. It's going to make a very clean and professional finish. Uh, and I also recommend not to overlock this one. 
So I'm just going to do a zigzag stitch and then I'm gonna show you the very last step that creates a very comfortable top to wear. So I have sewn just one sleeve so far, um, one shoulder seam, so I wanted to explain an optional step. So um, what you need to do is join together these two seams here, but then what I do, I fold over the seam allowance and just sew it in place. Now the reason I do that is you can see it makes a very flat seam there. I find that very comfortable against the shoulder. But like I said, that there is an optional step. You can just join the seams like normal and then just trim the seam allowance, whatever works for you. So I'm gonna go ahead and finish this second side here and then we can see our final crop top. Falling on your feet, do you finally see what you're missing? You're just one lost soul, it'll break the mold when you see me. Do you believe in a higher love? Somebody let the sun come up again.